The last method of editing is of most use when you're actually playing back cues in a show situation. One of the things that it makes it so powerful is that you do not have to be completely aware of which cue you want to change. The console will take over for you. With a cue playing back in active values under programmer control, press the update hard key. The LED on the update hard key will only be lit when it is possible to press update. By default, the update pop-up menu shows every queue that is currently playing back and any presets that are being used in those queues that you may wish to update. In our example, there are only one queue and one preset available. Updating a preset results in updating any location where this preset is used. If we update the queue, we will lose the link between the queue and the preset, making it more difficult to update this queue in the future just by altering a few presets. There is also a number of other options that we can use with Update. The Add New Contents, Original Contents Only option is extremely useful. We have just seen how it works in the Add New Contents mode. It allows you to add the active values under Programmer Control to anything that is currently playing back. In Original Contents Only, the Update menu only offers cues and presets that already have information for the active parameters. No new information can be added with this option. Note that this also applies to tracked information. For example, the queue number that is being offered can be different from the one before because QY does not actually contain any information for the parameters that are currently active. This information is being tracked from QX, therefore QX is what is currently being offered to you. The All Possible Executors Last Call Executor soft key allows to choose whether the update window shows only what was triggered last or all the executors currently playing back. The Tracking Update Queue Only Update option only affects queues that come after the one you're updating. If you select the Tracking Update, then information will be allowed to track through into subsequent queues. Selecting the Queue Only Update option will change the information in the subsequent queue to the same as it is in the previous queue. This, therefore, causes the update to affect only the current queue. The Preset Filter On-Off option allows overriding the automatic filtering of parameter information for the various preset types, so that a pan and tilt preset, for example, does not get dimmer information in it accidentally. Pressing the Update Queue soft key in the Update menu does a number of things. Unless there are other things available to update, the window will close. For all intents and purposes, programmer control is cleared, and the queue that has been updated will be automatically reasserted.